What's up, M Squad? It's the girl Emily, and I'm back with another vlog today. So, we'll be going to the store to get some essentials, you know. It's not necessarily essentials, but you know, we gotta get some things. So, yeah, when I arrive to the grocery, I'm going to vlog that. See you guys. Okay, guys, I have arrived at the store. So time to pick up our essentials. What does boy want? I can't remember. No. Found the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and I won, yeah, yeah. Too far away from our hearts, yeah, yeah The ones we keep close, we should never let go So tell me who you love, baby Take a moment to unwind, fix yourself and realign yourself So guys, I'm gonna check out and then Yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I get home Bye I don't know if you guys can see me, but I can't really hold the phone properly but yeah, I just got finished checking out and I'm currently walking home because I'm gonna have a car and my man not there here for carrying my home. Jesus! But yeah, as you can Let me see if I can show you. My bags. My bags. But yeah, on the way. Ah, oh, shit. This one. Whew. But yes, I'm on my way home. So as I get home, I'm gonna cook my noodles. Now I'm gonna set up eat with the yard. Okay. See you guys. What's up guys? You can see I am home. Finally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook my ramen. And I am going to organize my snacks. To sit and eat with you guys, and yeah, that's about it. See you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, what's up, M Squad? It's your girl Evelyn. I'm back with another little video, and today I'll be doing a spicy noodle mukbang for you guys. Yes, I already cooked the noodles, mm -hmm. I make it a little too soft. Mm -hmm. And we have a cook, I'm gonna just show the only things I buy to do this mukbang. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Alright guys, so first I have I think I'll see this already. This is a cream cheese swirl. From kiss. I have about three of these. I have a cake. I have two of these. A gummy worm. And this will be the first time I'm trying this domino mint cream cookie. So yeah guys, let me get into the video. Yes, guys. So let me get into the eating because I'm starving. But mm, think about what I should talk about today. I know I went to that story time. I don't know how me and my boyfriend met, but we didn't really meet them. Um, I don't really have a story to it. Whew. I'm hot. But um, boy, <laughs> move. Anyways, so. I feel like the story I'm going to give today because I don't really have a other story time. I mean, I have a other story, but I don't really want to get into that. You know, stories about like, you know, that my stepfather, blah, blah, blah. But, I'm going to just put this out there. I do not consider him my stepfather, so please, I will not be doing a video on that. Maybe, at, maybe not right now because I don't think that, I don't really have much to explain. I know the folks standing up in the because it's so soggy. 
But yeah, I don't really have much to explain about my real father or you know, because I really consider my stepdad. My stepdad. I consider him more as my real father. So you have a story behind that, it don't, it don't, it don't. So please I will not be doing a video on that, so stop. But I feel like oh somebody's calling me guys, hold on. Right guys. So I don't know if you have been in my DMs, especially the fellas. You have been asking if I'm single, if I'm taken. I'm very much taken. Mm, okay, I love my man. <laughs> he don't wanna be in any of my videos and I don't know why. If you are watching this crystal, I will choke you with my fork. But guys, I have some pranks coming so <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, we're getting to this video. I don't know why I hope still on my stuff. Bring me back there, but you can't, you can't do a video without a coke. And oh, tonight I'll be doing another mukbang. I'll be doing a mukbang with, with all these different foods from B and E. So stay tuned for that as well. Well, not all these different foods, but I wanna buy. I wanna buy like at least two things from his menu, so I can sit in the mukbang with you guys. Because I mean, I'm, I'm not green. Hope hi. Excuse me, get in my video. Hold on, guys. Let me get a shot of my video. Okay, guys, she's gone. So. <coughs> I feel like today's video should be like a life update. Let me do a life update. Hold on, I'm gonna switch this camera. So I can see. Whew, a skinny, eh? But yeah, let me do a life update. So, the reason why I haven't been posting is because. Go on, get pants! Yeah, she wanna come on my video and she have on her pants. I don't like that, so I wanna get some clothes on. And ignore them little puppies. This one you hear in the back because the dog um in front make seven babies and they all over the place. So yeah, life of it. The reason why I haven't been posting is because I wasn't well and my phone. Well, my phone was giving trouble, but I just wasn't well and I didn't feel like doing any videos. Like I, I wasn't feeling like myself, you know. So yeah, I didn't have no corona or anything, so it's not like that, but. I just wasn't feeling good, you know? Mm. Um, life has been getting better. I mean, why would you do that? Don't pass here. Don't pass here. <laughs> and see so how I can do it on a daily basis. Hold on, I'm gonna get them on my video. Right, they're out. So, um, life has been getting better, you know. I know you guys probably say, you know, oh, oh, I don't want to I don't want to post content nothing, but remember, for me to post content, I don't have money to buy certain things, you know, to make the video a little exciting because I would, I don't like, I mean, I like doing it, but I don't like sitting down and just having a boring old video with me just yapping, yapping, yapping. I don't know if I just enjoy that, but I mean, I like doing it because I just let all, you know, like certain parts of me that I don't post on social media and so on. Like, I'd, I'd rather do it here on a video, like me talking, but, um... I like to eat on things, so I like to have like things to eat in the video. So until YouTube starts paying me, I'll have to be dipping in my own pocket. Well, in my boyfriend's pocket, because I mean, I'm not looking right now because Corona, you know, Corona in the air, my kids is home. So yeah, so I just had to wait until you know. Yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, I said, hmm, hmm, hmm. Life has been getting better. Um, my mom is definitely getting better. She, that woman said walking, good. So I'm happy for that. You know, when my little my dad, he's still crazy. He's still not home. So you see, when I'm doing videos, he's never be home. And then he's come home late, and I'm like, I know we should do a video on. You know, we should do this and we should do that. But man, you always coming home late because you know you're always working. So. Shout out to him for that, for being a real one and always working for his kids, you know. And I'm still his little girl in case you're wondering. Mm -hmm. My father, hmm. it's my father. You don't play when it comes to me, you know. That man, great. Anyway, so, why is that Yes. Life has been getting better, you know. My relationship with God has been getting better. You're shaking, my thing here. Yeah, sorry guys. But yes, my relationship with God has been getting better. A lot better than it was before. I mean, it was good before, but you know, things could always improve. Right, so that is improving a lot. 
oh and something i wanted to add just so you guys um was asking me like you know why does write your prayers wow well i mean by who will you write your prayer so i was um um some of you are saying i should do a video explaining that but when really do like a whole video explaining that little thing let me just tell you now um go inside with that so the reason why i write my prayers is because yeah the reason why i write my prayers is because um it had a point in life i believe it was my pregnancy with hope but i used to write before but not consistently like i would do one today and i would do one next week or something i'll do one this month forget and then i'll do one the next month like that i was never consistent at it and while I was pregnant with hope, I was going through the worst time of my life. I know some mothers can relate, you know, I didn't have nobody by my side or whatever, you know. And it's not to bash anybody, I just put in it out how I was at the time. I didn't have anybody by my side. And, you know, I had a talk with God and I said, you know, maybe if I be consistent with you, you will look everything out for me. So... Um, when I made faith, I had gotten stitches. I know you guys probably know that from my previous video when I said where I was talking about being a teen mom and in my labor story. With that. So, I I got stitches, and my aunt she had a baby. Yeah, my aunt had a baby, and no, I'll leave in this individual to Gabriel because see what that dumbass is. Oh. Anyways, Gabriel, if you're watching this, your man sick me. So yeah, my aunt had a baby, like back to back, like how I had a baby, but had, how I had Peter and Hope back to back. And she, 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 when she was making her second baby, her stitches so So I was like, ooh, I'm gonna have to go through that. I was like, oh no, God, no, I can't. No, man. Mm. Mm -mm. I was not having that when she told me. I was like, no, girl. No! Don't say that shit, man. But anyways, so, back to writing my prayer. I was telling God, I was like, you know, if I be consistent with you, you work everything off of me. I was, I was real scared to have an next baby because yeah, my first baby was free. Mm -hmm. On October, uh, on October 20th, 2017, that's when I started writing my prayers. And, you all would believe I was praying for betterment in my relationship with God. Fly! Betterment in my relationship with my boyfriend. A better relationship with faith. You know, I wanted to have a safe, healthy baby with no medical attention needed. I wanted to have a safe delivery with, you know, no stitches and things about that. I was real praying for that, a safe delivery. Yeah? And you all would believe what happened. God came through for me. He came through, girl. He did. So, it was um, after 11 um, on March 3rd, after 11 in the night, um, I had went price my that day. And, you know, when I reached home, I was, it was full. I was getting, like, little pains and everything. But Pope supposed to arrive. She was supposed to be here on the 17th of March. Mm -hmm. So, what's she doing here on the 4th? But anyways, skip as that. So... I was to a match after 11. That's again like period cramps because, like I said, my stomach I think was real hurting. So I, I, I never take it on because I know it wasn't my time to make baby. So, you know, I went and I sleep and I woke up the next morning with severe pain. So I went and I pee and I wipe, I saw blood. I was like, oh shit. It was about to go down. Now, nobody else waking, eh? Nobody else was waking. My little sister woke up. She's like, what happened? I was like, the baby about to come. She warm water for me, you know, I paid and everything. She was there to the process. She helped me change, whatever. And you know, a truck passed me. Hold on. And you would believe that I wake up Kesto because I do a home delivery, right? So I woke up Kesto and I was like, Kesto. You know, the baby ready to come or get up and organize the bed and thing because I had to shrink wrap the bed. Because I was like, girl, baby, so I can go back and sleep, eh? I started to cry. Because, I mean, a baby coming and that's what you tell me? Why are you saying something like that? I wanted to call my mama. 
Come on, Mama, what's up, man? My name is Gesso. My mom does something come. I'm gonna pray with me or whatever. And hope came 10 to 8 in the morning. Faith bone, 10 to 8 in the night. But, anyways, that's, that right there was just a blessing. I'm very thankful for that. But, you will believe hope came out. And I ain't getting no stitches, no bruises, no cuts, nothing. So, when I see. On social media, that's some people be posting them like God not real. If he was real, he would not allow certain things to happen or whatever. I mean, they have a point. But God gave us all choices. And by the choices we make, now is the choices we will reap further along in life. So I I never fully understand like why certain things will happen in the world, but I won't question it because like I know to myself, some, most of the questions that we have now will be answered on Judgment Day. And I have a strong faith. I'm very strong in my faith. So nobody could come with no little see me, me talk and be like, you know, you're going in real. I'll be like, okay. 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 Don't just me. I'm going to defend my girls any day, any time. I'm going to defend my God any day, any time. But anyways, God came through for me. And I'm very, I was very happy. I cried. And another thing too is my ultrasound said I was having a boy. And y'all believe I had a girl? Because I was like, God, you know, like, I can't see about girls. I was like, God, like, I don't know what you're doing me. I mean, I don't know how to, I don't even know how to, I don't know. Boy, the city. You hit anything. But yeah. So I was like, I don't know how to see about boys and things, you know. I, I don't want to see what I want to see because I had to buy some cute dresses for Hope and things. And, for Faith, sorry, not for Hope. I had to buy some cute dresses for Hope and I, I couldn't use them because I was having a boy. So I wanted an excuse to put, to, to put the girl in those dresses and then, you know. But yeah. And I saw the penis in the other song. I saw the penis and everything. And you know, down there, boys have different parts and girls. So it was a boy. So we looked for everything to me. It was a boy. And God changed the gender. In my stomach, man. So yeah. So I'm grateful for a lot of things. And yeah, that's why I just write my prayer now. Because I know certain things that I wanted to change in my life happened only because I was writing my prayer. Only because I've been consistent with God. And I believe that's why I'm so blessed. Like Things could be going so bad and I'm going to be like, I, it's, it, it, it is what it is, you know, it was supposed to happen. I mean, sometimes I'd be like, you know, I wish I didn't have to go through this, or I wish this didn't happen, but everything has happened for a reason, and sometimes it's get lessons in life to learn from it, and to make it stronger. So that's why I was doing my prayer. So I kind of get like a little story time, a little life update, a little, a little bit of everything in this year, like, like a little pillow, you know? But yeah, so like I told you, life has been going so good. Like I just, it's going good. And then, you know, it have something bad to add at the end. But I just have to be thankful for everything that, you know, I'm alive. My kid's healthy. My mom is alive. My dad I still have my both parents in my life. And I'm just glad for that alone. Like the whole pandemic happened and my whole family is still alive. Nobody was infected by it. And I'm just happy for that. I'm just really, really happy for that. Like, yeah, so, I mean, I have one woman that I really care and really love in my heart. And I was a lady who was sell. She owned a shop in our village, and she was one of those people that was on the cruise. And when I found out her queen, I was like, oh my god, no. I was like, no, 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 no. This has to be a lie. But I remember she was talking about the cruise and saying, you know, and enjoy yourself or whatever so i was like you know god i need her to pull through for me and i've been praying and thinking i'm just glad that she's okay she mm -hmm. wasn't one of the eight that died you know so i'm really happy for that shout out to you auntie marcia you know yourself big up your whole self girl anyway so mm. right what else i have to talk about i don't know like you might just have to stand, sit down and watch me eat but all in all, I could like some of my videos, you know, post my other stories, and I could get a little more subscribers, you know, so I could reach the top, you know. Y'all help me. Oh, I also plan on doing a 
I always wanted to do this, but I wanted to do like something for Christmas. But I don't really want to do it on Christmas. But I want to do like a like make a few hampers and give it to the. It have a lot of needy people. Just not in my area. I will not do it in my area to make it look like I'm favoring my people. Because I don't have needy people in my areas, but in my area, but my area does get a lot of stuff. Especially, well, not me personally, but like the people that the council and no one, everything they just they just get from us. So like, I want to go to the people that don't get like where the MPs don't pass you, where people don't pass you, where people just really go. I want to go to those areas and I want to give to the single moms, to the single dads, to the families that can't provide for their kids. I want I want to be able to do that one day. So I'm hoping that I get to do that this year. This year is, is mine. That's my goal for this year. Like I really want to bless some families because I know they have a lot of single mothers that really struggling and a lot of single dads that struggling as well, especially since this COVID thing happened. Like a lot of families struggling. So I mean, I was one of the families, but I managed to pull through because I don't, I don't make anything up, you know. So, if I have dal and flour, I will make a little soup. That's what my mother grew me up like. Whatever little you have, make do with that. So that's just me. I will do buy whatever I could buy or use whatever I could use to make a meal for my kids. And my kids just never have a problem with anything. There's probably the best cooker ever. So, you know why everyone says true? I'm not going to be like, okay, mommy, we like this best cooker ever. So, you know, I feel proud to myself that they appreciate every little thing that I give to them. So, shout out to that. This video will be long, but I hope you guys are still watching. Anyways, oh girl. Excuse. Hold on a minute guys. Okay guys, I think this would be it for this video. I will do this in the next video because this video is already too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and comment. If you're new here, subscribe now and join the M Squad. All my social medias will be down below so you guys can go follow me and add me or whatever. You know, follow one, follow a little small door for they could inbox me. And say how much you all enjoy my channel or whatever. Don't forget to share with your friends, share with your family members so everybody can be subscribed and join the M Squad. Until next time guys, bye! Okay guys, I'm, I'm going to be doing a second video for the snack mukbang because this video is already too long so yeah i am going to edit for you all to see the struggles and troubles that is have to go through hey bring me dog but i'll put this in as a blooper